It's good morning. It is about five o'clock. Um, I'm going to be starting my day with some celery juice. Actually, no, I'm going to have coconut water first, but I'm going to be prepping this for a bit later. I like to start with the least dense thing in the morning, which is coconut water, of course. And then probably have some calamansi limes with that, maybe some ginger. This ginger is very strong. I was chewing on some last night. I had a little sore throat from um, breathing in air conditioning at work. If you ever have sore throat, just take like a little slice of ginger, chew on it, suck the juices. Feels so good. But yeah. Then I got this massive, it's like five kilo watermelon. Very nice. Nice uh, dry stem. Land spot. Nice hollow sound. And that's going to be breakfast and maybe lunch as well. <laughs> Probably with some calamansi as well. Everyone. This is Austin from Robles. About 30 minutes into my bike ride. Bike. And just stopped here. Do a little stretching. Look at that view. It's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe this will be my thumbnail. Yeah, we'll see. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Hope you guys are all well. Yeah, this, this beautiful watermelon. Gonna throw some calamansi in here and chew on a bit of ginger. This is a really nice one, crisp, juicy. Let's try this out. Looks promising. This one's on point. I might not. I'll add a little bit of lime. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this whole freaking thing, man. Five kilos. Five kilos of watermelon for breakfast. Yeah. I had two coconuts already, and a little bit of celery juice, celery lime juice. And if you haven't had celery lime juice, Go get that. It's so bomb. A little nibble of ginger. Woo! Spicy! I love it. You're at my favorite place. The beach, of course. Just got some bananas. They're super ripe. They were like bursting open. Get chill here for a bit. I just smashed like three coconuts. And when I say smashed, I mean drink. And they were huge. So freaking hot. I just like had to have some coconut. I was gonna get some mangoes, but I'm kind of starting to get burnt out. Maybe the end of the season's coming. I'll show you guys. These bananas are literally falling off. They're so ripe. Look at this. I had two already. Yeah, I had two already. Like, they were literally bursting at the seams. Like, the fruit is literally telling you, like, eat me, eat me, I'm ready. Bananas are one of the only fruits that ripen off of the plant. So most fruits will not ripen. People think they're ripening, but they're actually fermenting. These are really nice, like, fat. The small, fat ones. I don't think I've tried this variety, actually. Wow. Wow. Mm. There's no like typical Cavendish banana flavor. Very sweet. Very dense. Still kind of creamy. Mmm. It's almost like a cake. Very sweet. Oh, it's just what I needed. Wow. It's like very rich. It's like a cheesecake or something. See? 
You see it? It's like popping open. It's like, eat me. See that? It's crazy how fruit, like, it's so evolved, man. I saw some Champadac today. Really big ones, too. But I couldn't smell them. They weren't very smelly. So I'm like, usually I can smell them like a block, two blocks away, like they're so good. But I don't think they were ripe. Maybe I'll give it a go the next days. They had a lot. No, it's hard to believe that someone can get burnt out on mangoes. I didn't have any yesterday either. I had that amazing jackfruit. Anyways. Just going to snack on these bananas. Like four. About 10, 11 bananas. Easy, easy thousand calories. They're easy. All right, so this is going to be my dinner. The water looks very nice today, like turquoise. But yeah, I finally just went all in on these tomatoes. They're so good. My body loves them. And I got a couple jelly coconuts, a little medium jelly. It's still pretty jelly-like. I got one more at home, too. Look at these cool leaves. So big. Yeah. There's a guy riding his motorbike at the beach. Takes his helmet off in one felt swoop. There's trails, trails of chemicals. Lovely. Oh, there's another guy. Yeah, we just vibing, you know, it's a beach vibe. There's a lady selling fish. Yeah, always selling fish at the beach. It's a nice day. I enjoy it. I should do the tomato. A little bit of dirt on there, don't hurt nobody. So freaking juicy. That's even juicier than the watermelon I had this morning. I think tomatoes are like the highest water content fruit actually. Like even more than cucumbers and watermelon. So good. Maybe not citrus though. Any other tomato fans out there? Like I said, like before I came to Vietnam, I would never expect it to be like mono mealing tomatoes. Actually, I don't think I have. Like this is the closest I've came. Mm. So freaking good, bro. The sweet fruits are good, but I crave savory fruits too. This is going to be good. This is going to be really good. We need all of the, the flavors for our taste buds. Salty, sour, sweet. Like, I think actually when people focus just on sweet, or even just on savory, you know, some people will just eat meat. And I think that puts you out of balance as well. Like, I really, I really vibe with the Chinese medicine. You know, how you need all the different elements in order to sustain your chi, your your energy, your life force, your health. They're just bursting. Mm. There's different tomato varieties available here, too. should try, like, um, the cherry ones. I don't think I've tried the cherry ones, actually. But I've only seen them in, like, supermarkets. That's weird. These are crazy salty. I've never had tomato, like, this good. I 
I almost bought all of them. But I thought I'd, I'd save some from for the rest of the folks, you know, the locals. So good. It cost me like a dollar for all these tomatoes, like 15 tomatoes or something. Amazing things you see at the beach, the people you run into. It's a magical place. Anyways, I'm gonna eat my coconut jelly, eat my tomatoes, and I'm probably gonna end this video. I'm waiting, you know, some, something exciting might happen. Just old guys on motorbikes, sitting on benches. Girls taking selfies, you know, just the normal stuff. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, let me know if you enjoyed by giving it a thumbs up. I didn't eat much today. I had that like, five kilo watermelon and that like, those birds? I had that five kilo watermelon and that sustained me like so much carbs. Oh, that's a little girl. I thought it was a bird. I was like, what the heck? So yeah, I'm really loaded up on the lycopene today. The reds. That guy just did a quadruple take. He drove by, he's like, is that guy eating tomatoes and coconuts? Oh my God. Holy crap. Yeah, had that watermelon. And like 10 bananas, and that's it, and just like tomatoes. I feel like really carved up, really energized too, and really relaxed, so. Yeah, should be good fuel for um, the work week starting tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday is my work week. Um, well, I also work like Tuesday and Thursday, but it's just one class. Like Saturday and Sunday are the really long ones. I know I talk about that all the time. But um, I'm really grateful to have this much free time. It's amazing. Um, let me know if you'd like a copy of my ebook. I traveled around Asia for over two years and um, documented how I traveled on $300 a month. Very cheap budget. Um, so message me on Instagram at RobList95 or you can email me at RobListFruitarian at Gmail. And... I'll get you a copy for $10. I think it's a pretty reasonable deal. I put a lot of effort into it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's enough stalling. I was just waiting for something exciting. <laughs> you never know, you guys. You never know. Right. Peace and love. See you guys. That guy has a trike. Three, three wheels. It's a motor trike. You might be in Vietnam when... Oh, oh, oh.